everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and I will be right back with some happy mail and a couple of whips that I was able to add a couple of rows on. So I will be right back. See you in a sec. Okay, so welcome back. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our existing subscribers. I appreciate you guys and am so happy you have come back to watch another video. First, I want to apologize for having missed my live last night. Um, I've been having some issues with my hip and I fell asleep. And until somebody actually messaged me asking how I was doing, I think it was like, 25 minutes after I should have started my live, I like woke up and I was like, oh my God, I forgot my, <laughs> I didn't forget my live. I just slept right through it. And I was going to try to set it up and do it, but it just didn't work. And I figured you guys would forgive me and I was going back to sleep. So I do apologize for having missed the live. You all know I love my lives because I love hanging out with you guys, but maybe I'll do one on another night this week. Not tomorrow, because that is um, our friend Crochet Me Pink Kelly's live. So maybe Thursday or Friday I'll hop on. But anyway, um, for today I have, well, one happy mail I'm actually going to like share with you. One that I opened and I'm just going to share, share with you a couple things that was in it. Well, actually, a couple of the same things <laughs> that was in it. But, and then I have three whips that, well, one that you guys haven't seen because I started it since I got the um, Lavender uh, Karen Simply Soft at Michael's over the weekend, last weekend. And then two that you have seen, it's been several weeks, um, and I've only been able to add a few rows to each one, but it was something. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do a little bit more uh, coming up and plus work on a couple of the other shawls also. So happy mail first. You all know that I have put out a call for postcards from all around the world since I have friends all around the world now. And I know the last couple of months wasn't necessarily the best time for anybody to go around buying postcards and trying to send them or whatever. But I did receive a postcard and I'm so excited. Uh, and it's from a really good friend of the you know, friend of mine and a friend of the channels, but I uh, just wanted to share that with you. It's a beautiful scene, isn't it? And this is the Bald Rock Group Lodge. It is the old hotel. It is now used as a group lodge and sleeps 34, complete with dining room, large kitchen, and fireplace. So I guess, and this is in uh, Chiaha State Park, Delta, Alabama. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, C-H-E-A-H-A. Chia or Chia, Chiaha, I don't know, but that's where that is. And it says, hello, Natalie. Just a little note from Adventures of Frank and Tina from Chia Mountain Delta, Alabama. Highest point in Alabama, highest point in Alabama. Thanks for friendship, Adventures of Frank and Tina. So I'm sure any of you who follow my lives, they often pop on both Frank and Tina and they also comment on a lot of the videos as well, but they have a great channel. They are a lot of fun. I laugh at with, I think, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a video of theirs where I wasn't laughing. So I'll put the link to their channel in the description box below. So I would love it if you guys would go check them out. It may or may not be for you, but if you guys would check them out, subscribe if it is, that would be awesome. Uh, so thank you so much, Frank and Tina. I hope you had a good time and I'm guessing I don't know. I, well, I don't know when the, okay, it says it was sent out June 18th. So I can't remember what area you guys are in. So this may be something near you guys, but um, I don't think they were there at this time because she wouldn't have been able to be up and around for it. But thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. It's gonna be added to the other few postcards that I have. So yay, I got a postcard. Of course, when I opened my PO box and saw it, I squealed, but um, yeah. So the other happy mail that I got, it's from a 
dear friend and she had a few she she did something on her channel with this and she, I asked her if she happens to have any extra once either she's done with what she's doing with them or other people get what they asked for if she could send me a couple and she did so I'm really excited I think I'm gonna do it with stitch markers I'm gonna figure out something cute but these little tiny picture frames oops it's not focusing is it now aren't these adorable oh my gosh so uh, she she gave me a few of these so I'm so excited I have to figure out the perfect picture to put in it and yeah decide what I'm gonna do with them but I, I really really when I saw them and she was like I have extras if you want them let me know I was like oh yeah baby I want some so thank you so much for that I appreciate it now on to whips I should have brought something to drink because my throat is very dry right now for some reason uh, I guess I will start with the new project, which is in one of my new Naughty Knitting Sack bags. Now, this isn't going to be able to stay in this bag. Actually, it's, I mean, it fits one of the Caron Simply Soft skeins. It would fit two of them, but not with a project also. So, uh, I love this bag. This bag is awesome. You guys know, if you watched that video, this was one of the bags that she gifted me. And needless to say, I'm keeping it. Sorry, this one is not going in, going to anybody. It just isn't. And it's got the, I'm leaving it over here. It's got the fornicating um, skeletons in here. Yeah. So I will leave Katie's um, Etsy shop in the description box also down below. The Naughty Knitting Sack. Plus she has the Fuzzy Sheep, which is her non-naughty business. <laughs> for obvious reasons. For those that don't want, not, yeah. So anyway, um, and look. It like matches, not not like totally spot on, but really close. So I'm still debating. That's why I stopped at two rows. I'm debating. I love Krista uh, for those uh, Krista at the Secret Yarnery. Wow, I'm like not able to use my words today. <laughs> Krista at the Secret Yarnery has two different um, patterns that I've done of hers. This is the grant. <clears throat> this is the Drunken Granny. I've also done the Cakes and Candles blanket <coughs> excuse me I love the cakes and candles however I have not done it in a worsted weight yarn before I'm guessing it wouldn't be a problem to do that um, I think I've used either DK or um, sport I can't remember which one I used but I think I'm gonna switch this to the cakes and candles versus the gr drunken granny not that I don't love the drunken granny I do it's it, it's a great pattern but, can you guys see it? I think so. Not that it's a, not a great pattern, it is. But, or, or, I need to do the chain row differently. I don't have a problem making an even chain, that's fine. But when I work into the chain, and I've been, and this one I actually worked on into two, I think I had, um, I think I did it with uh, two of the um, strands on the hook. I can't remember, but with this blanket in particular, and this is why I didn't end up finishing the first one I started, the chain for some reason just to me looks very messy. And I don't know. I love the stitch. I love the way it looks. It does look like it's a more complicated stitch than it actually is, but or a pattern than it actually is, but that starting chain or the foundation chain is just, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me on this blanket. If I'm working into every stitch or even every other stitch, I don't have a problem with the way it looks, but when I'm skipping five chains, or working into the fifth chain, it gets really messy. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to clean it up, let me know. Um, but I think I'm going to go back to the Cakes and Candles because I love, 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 love that pattern. I think I've made like four blankets out of that pattern, I think. You probably got, you guys probably haven't seen it because they were, well, no, you did. You saw them all. Uh, so anyway, that is whip number one. I have things piled up on my desk right now. I didn't say that. Uh, yeah, I haven't 
had a chance. I have had a chance to clean it up. I just haven't cleaned it up. Anyway, the second whip is in my... This is the bag I knew was coming from Naughty Knitting Sacks. This one... Honestly, I probably, I, no, I can't switch it because this is my uh, Stingray shawl. And I'm using, it's a double strand. Actually, this, the, the pattern itself, which is on Shandy's website at Expression Fiber Arts, I'll put her link down below also. Uh, on that pattern, she actually quadruples her lace weight yarns. So she quadruples the strand and works with four strands to do this shawl. I was not looking to do that. She she only uses two hanks of her lace weight, but she quadruples it. She works from the inside and the outside of two different colors. I'm using the same color, and I'm only working from the inside using two strands because I was wanting the shawl to be bigger. It's kind of a shawlette, or a, it's more of a shawlette than it is a full shawl, but Anybody that knows Shandy knows how <laughs> she's just so tiny and, and cute. And honestly, I really don't think quadrupling it with two hanks would be big enough. I mean, it may end up being like a scarf that you can maybe wear around the neck or something, but I, it wouldn't really cover, I don't think, much. So I decided to just do the two strands. Now, I've only added, since you guys saw it, I've only added, oh yeah, this is the inside of that bag. I'm not bringing it up close. Hopefully you guys can see it, but um, I've added, I think, like five or six rows to it. Maybe not, maybe four or five. This is the one where it started out, not with a magic ring, it started out with, I think it was a chain, I'll tell you in one second, it was a... Um, Sorry guys, bear with me. It started out with a chain seven and then you did a slip stitch into the first chain that you created. And then you worked, I wanna say it was like eight double crochets into it. That's where this ended up having this little loop right here. Now, can you see the stitches? I think it's um, focusing. First of all, I love this yarn. Love, love, love this yarn. Wonderful to work with. And it actually frogs. It, it does and doesn't. Uh, if uh, I have had to frog, like, actually, I just had to frog this whole section because I missed that this was a chain four in the center. So I, I frogged it back to add an extra chain. And yes, Catherine, this is one of your stitch markers. Yay! Whoa, it's not moving. Anyway, um, so it, it does frog to an extent, but I decided to keep going instead of changing this to a magic ring. And I don't know if, I don't know if I want to just frog it all the way back and do a magic ring and close it off because, but or do fewer chains. That's what I was going to do. I forgot about that. Sigal, I think you had that suggestion to do fewer chains so that when I work the eight double crochets into it, it just closed it down a little bit. So I may end up redoing this and redoing that top, this little guy right here, because it just doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. And I don't know, I'm still deciding on that, but I love the yarn and this is yarn from Shandy of Expression Fiber Arts. You all know I'm obsessed with her yarn. It's her, it's the colorway is botanical and it's her wisp lace. It's 75% superwash merino wool, 15% cashmere, 10% silk. There's 840 yards per hank. Suggested hook is a B to E. Hand wash only lay flat to dry. The hook I'm using, what am I using? is a G because I'm double stranding it and it seems to be working and it's giving it nice drape and I think it's good. I'm just having to decide if I want to frog it back and do it with either a magic knot or 
do fewer stitches, the fewer uh, starting chain to make it just kind of close up a little bit. But loving that pattern. Oh, let me show you pictures of what it's what it will look like when done without actually showing you the pattern. So you guys see what I'm saying as far as the size of it? It's tiny. So that plus I really wasn't I really didn't get into the quadrupling using from the inside and the outside. And by the time I went back to go see if I could get two more hanks of it, that colorway was gone. So I was like, whatever it is, what it is, I'm going to, and I really do love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful colorway. So it's working. I'm loving it with the two strands and I think it's going to work out well. I just have to decide if I'm going to frog it all the way back and take it down a couple of stitches for the beginning um, uh, chain. <laughs> All right, and then my other project is my second Adeline, which is in my bag, Natalie's Closet on YouTube. Oh, and Carrie, um, my friend who makes the bags, she said she's gonna get back to me, she was on vacation, so sorry about that, but as soon as I hear from her, I'll let you know. And let's see, I think I've added like four or five rows on it so far. Um, so that's the second Adeline. Not sure if that helps at all. And yes, there's another. I love all the stitch markers I've received from you guys. I have them all. I kind of um, interchange them depending on the project and stuff. But... So I love the Adeline uh, pattern. This again is the yarn. This yarn is actually not Shandy's. I don't have the um, I don't have the band in here with it, but this is not a Shandy yarn. I think this yarn was um, from Long Dog Yarn, I believe, uh, but the pattern is from Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts, and it's the Adeline. The other Adeline is the one that I did in the confetti that was on serendipity on my live on Sunday. It has not been blocked yet. Sorry. <laughs> I will get to that, I promise. It's just trying to find the space to be able to do it. I don't have the space. So I'm working on that. I am working on that. But those are the whips that I have so far that I've actually been able to do anything with. And the Happy Mail, yay, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I love postcards. I love, 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 love postcards. And um, thank you again, Frank and Tina, for the postcard. I love it. It's going into my special place with all my postcards. And I hope you enjoyed the whips. So I was thinking about, okay, for anybody that w took part in my Pampered Chef party, have you guys gotten, A, emails with um, shipment notifications, and two, or two, have you received your Pampered Chef stuff? Uh, please let me know. I think they're starting to send them out or are able to get to some of them. I don't know if it's all of them, but I would love to know from you guys if you have received the shipping notification. I know several of you have taken, uh, would, took part in that party, so please let me know about that. And I was thinking about when I did get it or when I do, when I have it, um, to do an unboxing with you guys. That is, unless we like dig into stuff and use it right away. <laughs> In which case, I will probably at some point incorporate all of it into some of the recipes on my other channel, uh, Natalie and Mom's Kitchen. So one way or another, I guess you guys will see it. Maybe if I if we don't dig into it and use stuff right away, then I'll do an unboxing on here. If we do dig in, maybe I'll do a partial unboxing and let you know what we opened already. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, stay safe and healthy. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. And I will see you guys on Friday with my next Getting to Know You episode. 
stay again stay safe and healthy i love hugs and prayers to everybody i love you all dearly if you are new to my channel i would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to that make sure you hit it to all so you're notified anytime i upload a video um and if you guys would give it a thumbs up that would be awesome and if you're willing to share it that would be even more awesome so have a great day love you guys all love all of you guys <laughs> you know what i mean so i will see you guys on friday have a great day bye